Hello watchers, today I am going to show you my preferred way on how I automate MIDI CC parameters like the mod wheel, like the expression wheel, sometimes even the sustain pedal in Reaper. This video will not be a in-depth explanation on how MIDI CC events work or how automation envelopes work, but if you're interested in seeing more videos on that topics, then leave a comment in the comment section below the video and I will make sure to create one for you specifically. But let's not talk any further, let's get right into the matter. So my preferred way of automating MIDI CC events is not via the MIDI editor, but via an automation envelope instead. And that is why we are sitting in front of a Reaper instance again, and we have a track of four horns sitting in front of us with only one node being in there, which spans over two bars, and it's just AC playing all the time through at the same velocity, same volume, everything. It's basically just a two bar long note. Let's play this for you. Here we go. So how can we finally do something like a crescendo out of this? We need to start by pressing control and context menu on this track that contains the MIDI data that we want to automate. Let's therefore use the up and down arrows to make sure that we've selected the track correctly. That's correct. Now press control context menu. Context menu menu. And use the down arrow a few times. Track manager. Insert new track. Insert new track. Insert virtual ins. Insert track from save tracks. As track remove tracks are. Duplicate tracks or move tracks. Then use render slash freeze MIDI track control sub menu M. That's where we're gonna go. Open that. Show MIDI track control panel check test. There's the show MIDI track control panel option, which makes sure that the rear control MIDI, a Reaper and Total FX plugin, is instantiated on the track before any instrument that comes on the track. You could also instantiate recontrol MIDI yourself via the FX dialog, but doing it that way is easier because it makes sure that it is the really, really first instrument within the FX chain as well. So I always like to use this option here. You need to do this in order to automate MIDI CC events via the automation envelope feature within Reaper. So I, in my case, always save this as a track template component when creating track templates for all my orchestra instruments. This is really important and it won't work without that. So since I've got this checked already, I will just close the menu down via the Alt key. Unsaved project Reaper V6.69. And now what we need to do is configure our recontrol MIDI once in order to work properly. Press F on the track for that. FX. Track one or next four folder dialog msdlsdgm dot real bank semitones f zero f seven mini activity log list one list vst ray control mini cocos one of two yeah you get a lot of rubbish and garbage information displayed here but we've got real control mini selected by cocos let's tap a few times to get to the parameters that we need to change in order to work properly edit multi line blank edit fx com zero point three set menu buffer button mini button ui button checkbox check property pay all notes off show log button bank slash program select grouping enable checkbox not checked notes grouping transpose edit snap to scale control change grouping enable checkbox checked and that in the control change grouping you must enable the enable button that's important you need to do this raw mode checkbox not checked combo box not wheel collapsed and after doing that we have five control boxes followed by a slider and an input box for a value and you can control those five drop down menus to be set to the parameters that you need to modulate or change the most for me that is definitely the mod wheel at first place so that's why i have configured it to be the mod wheel here because those five parameters will be the topmost of the parameters within the Osara parameters list, so it's much easier to make use of them. That's why I've got the mod wheel selected as the first parameter. Let's tap a few times. Mod wheel slider eighty one ninety two. So it's currently set to eighty one ninety two. Edit selected eighty one ninety two. Which is exactly half of the mod wheel. It's basically the resting position in the middle of everything, basically. Combo box pan collapsed. The second one is the pan. I've never used this before, but usually I just automate modulate anyway. Pan slider zero. 
Edit selected zero. Combo box pitch wheel collapsed. The pitch wheel is another famous example where you can automate pitch changes, for example, which is really interesting. Pitch wheel slider zero. Edit selected zero. Combo box volume collapsed. Volume slider 16,383. So we had max volume here. Edit selected 16,383. Combo box less not greater collapsed. And the fifth parameter is not even set in my case. So that is what you need to make sure. You don't need to set the parameters the exact same way I set them. You need to set them to the parameters that you want to control most of the time and so that you can have easy access via the Yosara parameters dialog. Let's close this down via escape. Unsaved project repo v6.69. And now we can open the parameters via the Yosara parameters dialog. Press P. Context menu menu. And you get a context menu because we have one ray control mini one. We control MIDI at place one. This is really, really important. It needs to be at the very beginning of the FX chain, otherwise it won't work. Two complete control two. And the second one is the complete control instance with my instruments. One ray control MIDI one. And I will go to recontrol MIDI, open that. FX parameters dialog zero slash zero parameter. Combo box bank MSD one. Collapse all plus P. Arrow down. Bank LSD two. Again. Program three. Mod wheel four. Here we go. Parameter four mod wheel. That's what we want to have. Tab one. Value. Okay, you see we've got the configuration value here. We can change this with the up and down arrow keys. And because we did this, we can now finally arm it for the automation envelope. Let's enter here to just get out of this. Now we can press Control Alt L. And what Control Alt L does is it takes the last touched parameter that you've changed and arms it. For automation which means then you can put points on it which automate the behavior for example change it from one way to another over a specific period of time so that's what we want to do next let's press alt l which will cycle to the next armed automation envelope that we want to edit that's great that's what we want to do and now we want to go to bar two and we want to insert one point here Press Alt Shift E. Set envelope point value dialog value. Edit selected 8192. We want 8192. So that's fine, because that's the way we are at right now, which is exactly fine. Let's press enter on that. Unsaved project re And let's go to bar three. Bar three. And let's insert another point here. Alt Shift E. Set envelope point value dialog. But this time we will set it to 16383. One six three eight three. Ray control MIDI, Cocos, mod wheel 16383. And we'll get some, some speech feedback sometimes. And let's hit enter. Unsaved project. And we'll go back to the beginning of the piece. Bar one. And play. 8250. So that was some crescendo here. We can, of course, change this as well. Because we can change the form of the curve that goes from one point to another to, for example, have a slow start but a fast end to make the crescendo more impactful. Let's do this by selecting the first point of the corresponding curve. Point zero value linear. This is not the point because this is the point at the very beginning of the piece, which is always there by default. Point one value linear bar two. This is the one that you want to select. Press Alt Shift E again. Set envelope point value dialog value. Edit selected 8192. Press Shift Tab a few times. Messy attention. Messy attention. Shape. Combo box linear collapsed. There we go. It's the shape. Square. Slow start slash end. Fast start. Fast end. There we go. We want to have it the fast end. Unsaved project. Re and now we just go to the beginning of the piece and play again. Bar one. 8191. 8192. There we go. So as we've heard, we can do all kinds of various things with it, but it's really, really easy to automate MIDI CC information that way. And you can do it with all the 127 MIDI CC event types there are. Some instruments, depending on how they are programmed, can control various information on those channels. Some orchestral instruments even allow you to change the articulations that way or have a way to automate overlay articulations. Like the Cine Strings library allows you to configure which articulation to put on top of a legato transition while playing a legato string line, for example. And you can easily change that this way. 
there are obviously more ways to reach our goal here. You could open the media editor and write in the media CC events into the media editor yourself directly, which would achieve the same goal. But for me, this is the way to go. And I usually like to do this because it's much easier and it's more natural to the Reaper feeling because you basically automate a lot. You also automate the volume that way. You automate the pan envelope that way. You can change everything within Reaper that way. So I like it to be in unison with all the other parameters and all the other automation envelopes that you can change. That is why I decided to go for that method instead of having a lot of work to do within the media editor. But if you're interested how this could work within the media editor, then write a comment below the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will get back to this in another video and show you how to write mini CC events so that we could achieve the same goal here. But until then, thanks for watching this video. If you're interested to stay updated, then follow me on Twitter too. And don't forget, sharing is caring. If you know someone who's just getting started with Reaper and who might be interested in how to do things and how Reaper works, then recommend them my YouTube channel. And if you or a friend of you have questions that I have not answered in one of my videos over here, then feel free to reach out either via email or below for one of my videos or via Twitter or whichever way you feel necessary and ask them. I will make sure to get back to you for sure. Thanks for watching the video. Have fun. Take care. Bye bye.